Well, hey, welcome back everybody to Rich with Grandpa. It's uh, first weekend in November. We have to set our clocks back tomorrow, Sunday. Let's see, spring forward, fall back. Well, I'm real good at falling back. Springing forward usually means I'm not springing, I'm falling. But anyway. Uh, Things are a little different around the old Hacienda or Hacienda here right now. Uh, trying to deal with uh, getting the wife uh, patched up and back on her feet. Uh, so, you know, uh, haven't really had any time to spend doing much of anything uh, other than take care of her and that's what it's all about. You got family, they're first. So, but something I did come across in trying to spend a little bit of time on the ongoing project of the interior on this old girl, I wanted to show you something because it really kind of surprised me in the overall aspect of life, or whatever. Anyway, oh, just so we keep the algorithms going, please consider sharing, liking, subscribing, commenting, we're almost at 800, guys. I know, no hot dogs and beers yet, but you know, always appreciate your support, really, really do. So, let's take a look at what I've come up with. All right, so, this car, as hopefully most of you know by now, is always got something to surprise me with, so, and trying to start putting some of the interior back in it and trying to figure out how that's all going to work out. So I'm doing something progressively moving forward since I can't do much with the suspension right now. This is some of the interior carpeting that goes over the rear uh, wheel wells. And uh, this is from the left side of the vehicle. And when I bought the car, got the car home, and I saw this, I figured this was all pretty well toasted from sun exposure. Never really giving thought to the fact that the car had been sitting under a shed, or in a shed, pole barn, whatever you want to call it, for a number of years. So this wasn't really sun bleached. Now, I will admit, this is aftermarket carpet that was installed probably, I'm going to say probably the same time they repainted it and did some of the other stuff to it. So, you know, mid-70s, early 80s, whatever. She's kind of crispy. Rightly so. You start getting, you know, this kind of years on you, you're going to be crispy. Trust me, I know, I'm very crispy. But, it's actually not in that bad of shape. And what I thought was sun bleaching doesn't appear to be that at all. Let me show you what I'm finding out. We've gone over here to the other side, which is just as crispy. But what we are doing is we're applying some of our magic spray, which happens to be super clean. This stuff is great. Uh, I really wish they'd sponsor me. I know I don't have a channel that gets, you know, any respect. But I use this stuff all the time for a multitude of uh, things. Now, okay, so this all looks like it's just toast. <laughs> it is toast. Now, we've sprayed that. Well, yeah, use it. No, it's not Windex, it's water. When you DYI, you always reuse bottles when and where you can. So we're gonna liberally apply some water to help activate the super clean. Dun, 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 dun. Now we're gonna take a nylon bristle kind of a stiff bristle but we're not gonna <clears throat> we're just gonna work it hmm. 
Look at this. Yeah, no, it's not the uh, NASCAR racing. It's not dropping a 440 in the bay, but it is part of the restoration. And quite honestly, in doing some research, for me to go in here and try to do piecemeal replacement of carpet, it's insanely expensive. To do a full carpet aftermarket, uh, it's almost $600. <laughs> Are you kidding me? $600 for $40 worth of carpet. Yep. Hey, come on. We're going to kind of slide off our work space here. Get her back up here. All right, let's hear with a little more water. Look at all this. What I thought was sunburn was not sunburn, it's dirt. And so what I'm trying to do is gently remove the dirt. This isn't a piece that because it's age and uh, condition, you can't hit this with a pressure washer unless you want to see it disintegrate in front of your eyes. But what I can do, and what I'm trying to do here, is to get this in a reasonable condition so that I can use it as a template. The condition it's in right now, it's not gonna give me a good template because it's gonna fracture. Plus, this is good learning experience. If you're doing DIY restorations, you gotta learn how to do some of this. And who knows, I mean, if this comes out reasonably, and it's going to take some time, this isn't going to be a 20-minute project, but I wanted to show you this. I mean, most people will just throw this in the trash. <laughs> I have considered it, but now I'm starting to see some potential here. I might save myself a few hundred bucks by being able to restore and save this instead of just throwing it in the trash and not trying to do something with it. That's why I say this is a marathon, no sprint. It's a learning process. I mean, it certainly has been for me. Not only with my mechanical expertise, <laughs> yeah, expertise, but my detailing work and the whole restoration process. So, kind of, you know, look at all this crud that's coming out of this. Yucky. Yuck. So, and please excuse the camera work. This is all, you know, very primitive. All right, so, this is the area we've been working on. We're gonna dab it off. We are a long ways from finishing this. 
this is just like round one is probably multiple but I wanted to show you this because quite honestly I was surprised by it myself yeah I know it's not great but look at this I mean well, Yeah. Well, it's not perfect, and it's not going to be like brand new. After all, it's like probably 40 year old carpet, but you can see that we've actually getting a lot more suppleness back into the mat, so it's not crispy. We can actually move it, unlike back over here. But you can see we're progressing. We can get this all cleaned up and honestly, I think we may be able to save this carpeting. Yeah, it's not going to be show quality, but if we can get it saved, and I don't have to use it as a template and go out and buy more materials, for right now, that's a win-win. That's what DIY, do it yourself, <laughs> should be help save your wallet. Anyway, guys, I appreciate your views, comments, subscriptions, all of that stuff. We keep working on her. Hopefully come spring, we'll be rolling her around, driving her around, going down on beer trips, car shows, hanging out with the crew. Thank you guys. May God bless. Have a wonderful weekend. See you soon. Bye-bye.